Hi, welcome back to The Graphic Creator. My name is Nathan. I'm so glad you could join me this week. Today, I want to talk to you about one of my all-time favorite comic book stories. Of course, I'm talking about ElfQuest. ElfQuest is the longest-running independent fantasy graphic novel series in the United States, with more than 20 million comics, graphic novels, and other publications in print. It's created by the husband and wife team of Wendy and Richard Penny, uh, they first published in 1978 and have continued working on this series throughout the years. Interesting side note, the last issue of the story arc, The Final Quest, was published by Dark Horse Comics on February 28, 2018, which was exactly 40 years to the day that the first issue of ElfQuest was published. So... What's kind of interesting is that the series was notable for being one of the only titles at the time to have a, a predefined endpoint, um, and was also notable for having highly innovative themes and also for the creative principle being female. Now, ElfQuest has been reprinted several times with different publishers, starting out with Warp and their imprints Apple Comics and Father Tree Press, Marvel's Epic imprint, Dawning Company's Starblaze imprint, DC Comics, and Dark Horse, which also makes it the only independent comic to have been published by all big three comic companies to date in the United States. So the series has spawned up novelizations, short story anthologies, a music CD, collectibles, calendars, clothing, an RPG, or role-playing game, and two different board games. Over the years, several attempts have been made to turn the series into a movie, but nothing has come to successful fruition yet. There have been a bunch of different false starts and some drama behind that that we won't get into here. Uh, the series has won many awards over the years, and in 2019, both Wendy and Richard were, were inducted into the Will Eisner Hall of Fame. So, ElfQuest has been cited as one of the most beautifully crafted, well-thought-out comic book fantasy epics of all time, one of the most important works in American fantasy, and a well-told and exquisitely illustrated story that should be in every graphic novel collection. Now, the first story, The Original Quest, ran for approximately seven years and followed the story of Cutter, the chief of the Wolf Riders, a tribe of elves on the world of two moons. They were forced out of their forest lair by human interference, and then they were subsequently tricked by a group of trolls into an almost certain death trap. Forced to travel across a burning wasteland, the refugees discovered a different race of elves. Cutter subsequently finds love and a larger story with this new race, and eventually sets out to discover the history of the elves. With his pack mates, he travels to the ends of, to the length of the world, facing new challenges, making new friends, and discovering the origins of his race. Now, follow-up stories like uh, Siege at Blue Mountain there uh, detail the subsequent battles between factions of elves and trolls, the discovery of where they originally came from, and eventual travel to the future with the descendants of the original elf tribes. Now, in 2008, Warp began publishing the entire story up to that point on their website, where you can actually read the series for free. So, that does exclude both the Final Quest storyline and the newer Stargazer's Hunt storyline. Um, they are not available on the site as they are published by Dark Horse, but you can easily get copies of those from major retailers anywhere. So, with all that information on the side, I want to talk about kind of my personal experiences with ElfQuest. Now, when I was, I don't know, about seven, I was in Denver visiting my grandparents, and somebody took me to a local newsstand near their house. And up until that point, you know, I'd kind of read Archie comics and, you know, the newspaper comics and stuff like that, but it had never really been, it had never really captured my interest. And while we were at the newsstand, I found this magazine called ElfQuest, and I thought it looked really cool. I thought the artwork was just absolutely gorgeous, and I was just deeply impressed with, you know, the, the artwork and, you know, how clean the lines were and the storytelling and the fantasy aspects of it. And at the time, <clears throat> I did not realize that I was actually 
in the middle of the Siege at Blue Mountain storyline. So this would have probably been, I don't know, about 83, 84 around there. Anyways, it was a long time ago. So I bought this, I bought it, and I read it, and I read it, and I read it, and oh my God, I read the crap out of it. And unfortunately, while visiting my some relatives, I left it at their house where my cousin, who was probably three at the time, subsequently got a hold of it and destroyed it. And I was very distraught. And shortly thereafter, we moved across the country to North Carolina. And out in North Carolina, I could not find ElfQuest anywhere. No matter how hard I looked, no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't find it. Nobody had heard of it. You know, hazards of living in a small town, I suppose. And so it kind of just fell into the back of my mind a little bit. A couple of years later, 1987, around there, we moved back to Colorado. My mom got a job at the local library, and so I started spending a lot of time at the local library. Well, as it turns out, they were carrying the ElfQuest books at the library. And I rediscovered the series, and I fell in love with the series again. And I constantly read those books. Begged my mom for ElfQuest books, and I managed to get one of one of the collections. I don't remember which one it was right offhand. It's I've got it in storage somewhere. And I just love that book to death. My mom also got me the first ElfQuest board game. Um, but, and there was... There was one comic book store in town, but it was very strange because the proprietor of that had never heard of ElfQuest, which I thought was very odd. But, you know, and, and for as popular and as successful as ElfQuest had been, I have never found anybody that knew about ElfQuest before I told them about it. Up until... You know, about 2012 or so when I attended my very first comic book convention. And then, you know, I started seeing ElfQuest everywhere. But the thing about ElfQuest is the artwork is just absolutely stunning. Wendy Penny just has an eye for the human form, or the elven form, pardon. And her, her characters are alive. They are sensuous. They are believable. Even though they are, are basically fantastic characters, they, f they feel very real. And, you know, first as, you know, like a seven-year-old, and then again as a ten-year-old, and up through my teenage years, you know, they were very... enticing um but it's a beautiful story well told well imagined well, and everything that happens is believable in its unbelievability it is well thought out it is well plotted it is well executed and i really feel that elf quest as a series, ElfQuest, as a form of reading, you know, in the traditional prose or, you know, in the role-playing games or anything like that, I think it is well worth the time to sit down and examine and read and enjoy and to take into your heart and to take the lessons from it. Because the lessons that Cutter and his tribe face are essentially universal you know we may be of different skin color we may be of different races we may be of different ideologies but ultimately what has to happen is we have to come together to survive so you can find ElfQuest books online um, a couple years ago, they did them into gorgeous hardback collections. Um, you can find them on Amazon. You can find them on Pals. You can find them on Barnes Noble, uh, Bookshop, 
org, all that fun stuff. So that's that's my review for this week. ElfQuest, uh, Wendy and Richard Penny, excellent story, highly recommend it. So that's all I've got about that review this week. On a side note, I would like to say that I have a friend of mine that is now doing Twitch streaming, and he's also doing uh, YouTube videos of his streaming. You can find him at Savage Steve. Link will be at the end of the video. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Nathan. This is the graphic novel reader, and or this is the graphic reader. Excuse me, and I will see you next time.